Hello everyone and welcome to a new playthrough. This is Chaos Head. Uh, as you see, it looks exactly the same as Steins Gate, the way it's ripped, because it is made by the same people. So, that's why. Uh, I wanted to start this a new playthrough because I kind of spoiled myself on Steins Gate. That's the reason why I'm not carrying on anymore. I mean, I could do it in the future, carry on with it, but right now I'm not really doing it. But, um... I'm, I'm interested to see what Chaos Head is like. I've never saw anything of it or, or heard it. I've heard of it, but I've never saw anything about it. And supposedly it's supposed to be in the same universe as Science Gate, so... Since I know everything in Science Gate now, I think it'd be interesting to check it out. I've turned, I've turned the voices off because I, I usually do the voices anyway for characters. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. And, yeah, it's a bit different to a Science Gate is you'll see in a second as I sign up but uh, yeah just a little warning ahead it's not exactly the same as Steins Gate maybe maybe by the same people but what it is it's, this is maybe beforehand I think I, th I think it was. it was maybe beforehand or after I'm not sure but anyway let's just start it up shall we A gaze falls from the sky. Those eyes are always watching me. The stare pierces through the thick dark rain clouds. It pours down on me like rain. Don't look at me. My body won't stop trembling, but it's more than the cold rubble I'm sitting on that than the chill of the rain. Fucking helicopter. Damn, it's cold. An anonymous gaze from the heavens pierces me. As if to escape it, I raise my head a tiny bit and survey my surroundings. Out there is a shattered city. Out there is despair. <laughs> Out there is death. Out there is nothingness. No one is here. No one is moving. No one is alive. All I can hear is the sound of the con continually falling rain. Things continue this way. Everything. Both alive and dead. I wonder if it will be gently enveloped and washed away. It would have been nice if all that happened it turned out is just a delusion. But it seems that that this isn't the case. <laughs> my body won't move. I can barely move my neck and my eyes. I'm trembling, but that's no more than a, a psychological phenomenon. Action is involuntarily. I don't want to shake like this. If I can't move it freely, if I can't move it freely, then it isn't my body. Or maybe I wasn't born free. No one knows a place where the soul is kept. So despite that, how can anyone say for sure that my soul is inside my body? But, in that case, where could I have been before? I wonder if I'm here now. 
Maybe I'm nowhere. Suddenly, a sound that isn't the reign of death resounds. In this broken world where everything remains at a standstill. The soul existence floats out, out of the mist of nothingness. Who are you? reason your skin appears so pale is it because you're frozen from the coldness of the rain or because you're already dead but We are the only ones in the world. If we continue gazing solely at each other, like this for the rest of eternity, would my world be reduced to that which is reflected in her eyes? Would her world be reduced to that which is reflected in, my, in mine? I am what's reflected in her eyes. She is what reflects in mine. And when I think about it that way, the world ins instantly becomes much smaller. なだれた彼女の表情は僕の そうか。理解したよ。ただ身を委ねた。耳元で囁き、綺麗な麻酔のようで不思議なことに体の震えがゆっくりと収まっていく彼女のかすかな鼻息が僕の頬をくすぐるとても甘い匂いふと胸に圧迫感を覚えた彼女の持っていた大きな剣が僕の胸の皮膚
体の中に沈み込んできているでも彼女のキスという麻酔にかけられてもう痛みを感じないこんなにも優しく殺してくれるから不意に切なくなって涙が溢れそうになってそれをごまかすために彼女の頭越しに雨を落とし続けている鈍色の空を見上げた空が滲んでいるのは雨のせい涙のせいもうあの視線も感じないもう何もない薄れゆく意識の中で僕は空へと手を伸ばす誰か教えて僕たちのあの空はどこへ行ったんだろう Wow, that was. Oh, here's an intro. <laughs> Chapter One Eyes and Eyes. That was、uh, a cryptic and weird. Oh, I can't see the gaze. Not being able to see what, even though it's watching me. What a weird concept. For as long as I can remember, there have been countless instances of me sensing a gaze from who knows where. And if I turn around, there's no one there. But I'm always convinced that someone had, in fact, been watching me. A chilly sensation at the back of your neck. Just what has been called being too self conscious. Or else a phobia of being watched. Until I reached middle school, surely God is watching over me. That's seriously, seriously what I thought. An essay I wrote about the same time centered around that kind of theme. Of course, thinking back at it now, I was a kid and overly full of myself, no matter how you look at it. That really stinks. If somebody else happened to read it now, I shut myself up for the rest of my life. <laughs> I still remember that title of the essay. Uh, whose eyes are those? What? Whoa! Is this a bit weird?、Uh, okay, it doesn't auto skip now, thank god. <laughs> I can actually talk. That was a bit weird intro, and that,、uh, I don't know what it's gonna mean. Maybe it's gonna mean later on. Usually, these kind of games have a slow start before they pick up. So, just a little bit of warning ahead. It will be a slow start. I'm kind of expecting that as well, so, you know. I'm, I'm expecting it to pick up quite fast actually than normal. But anyway, let's carry on with the game. I'm so sorry to get into this. Let's do this. The backrest of the chair I was leaning against creaked. Then, at a sound like a ho- hoarse voice, 
don't look at me. Fed up, I murmured that as I looked up at the gloomy ceiling. Of course, there wasn't any answer. This is my room. I live by myself. There isn't a single human being in this room besides me. I tried turning around. Ooh, this feels really weird, man. It's like 3D VN. <laughs> the room is arranged lengthwise and a little dim. The only source of illum illumination is here. Is the in here is the lamp set on my computer desk. Oh, look, he's playing an MMO. <laughs> The room doesn't have any windows, so it's dark to begin with. There's absolutely no way to tell what it's like what what it's like outside. There's no way to tell if it's noon or night. I raise my voice to the dark corners of the room. My name is Nin wait Ninshi Ninshdu Ninshdu Takumi. Seventeen years old, I am second year at S Sume Academy. But the truth is really I don't go to school that much. Grades have never been a problem for me. I always get, I always take the midterms and finals, and I get pretty good marks on them. You could probably call, call me pretty smart. It wasn't as if I was yelling out, going. Oh, it wasn't as if I yelling out was going to make anything happen. No one would come running. The darkness just went out, went on being there in the form of darkness. But the dark arouses people's fantasies as well as nightmares. Something that can't be seen is ultimately something unknown. Even if you know it's impossible, you can't help but wonder if maybe something might be lurking out there. Damn it, I had this habit of intentionally excavating my own paranoia. As though to break away from that, I continue my speech. I'm currently away. I mean, I live by myself in Shibuya. This is Karenia Hall Building, under the administration of the building corporation that my dad manages. But I'm renting the container house and located it on the roof at a, at, at a petty cheap price. Really? What? He's living in a container on the roof. That is weird. That is full on weird. The city environment blows and I live in Shinjin Cho. There are a lot of hills and a lot of hills so going around is tiring. On top of that, the little hotel district is close by. Oh, this is like, um, have you guys played, uh, Yakuza? You wanted any of the Yakuza games? Well, I recently played, I think it was four, three. I can't remember which one. But, I mean, I recognize this now because, you know, they literally did everything exactly the same. I'm sure this game is going to do it as well. So I know, I know pretty well the area. <laughs> there have been so... Oh no, that was a like Kiabara, wasn't it? Yep, okay, no, that was totally different. It'd been so awesome if that were a keeper. Shibuya is seriously an awful town. It looks about it looks about as bad as Dean's Valley in Ensu. That's a closed door? Ins oh, okay. Ensu is the abbreviation for the MMORPG I've pretty much made my life. <laughs> He's a paladin! Level 50! Guy, man, what the heck? Special title is Empire Sweeper Online. Is that ESO? Is that S Elder Scrolls Online? <laughs> is that what we're supposed to be? <laughs> I enter Blazela, the that's the name of the world in Ensu, pretty much every day to the point of depriving myself of sleep. The Inns Valley is the name of the area that appears in Ensu, and only aggregating monsters, aggregating monsters show up there. For all that they come at you with sickening special attacks, they don't drop any good items. The guys who hunt in Dean's Valley are idiots. Upper level players quickly call it quits and head into the nearby Laity Forest. Naturally, I did the same, because <laughs> I'm smart. That's why a city like this, full of delinquents and people who use love for cap capitalism, should hurry and destroy itself. But this room brings itself to a, down to a level I can handle. No, it's just raining outside. It just started raining really heavily. Let's just stop for a second. <laughs> That's because he has a uh, he has a top of the line computer and blazing internet connection. Well, I, I wouldn't really. You probably would get a really good connection if you're on the roof. I think. Would that work? The higher you are, would you get a better connection? I, I don't know if that's true. Well, it kind of makes makes a first class place for a student, so I call it my base. 
Nothing but me ever moves in my room. Becoming aware of how dumb it was to go on talking to myself, I decided to stop to stop my little self introduction for whoever was watching me. And that is me, and you who are watching this video as well. Inception. Ugh, for all that, it was a really dirty room. The room smelled of something rotting. I could feel the stagnancy of the area on my skin. It was raining really heavily outside. Forty out. Uh, empty plastic bottles and containers of the already eaten convenience store lunches lay scattered across the floor. They were ergo game packages piled on top of the bed. Thanks to them, I ended up sleeping on the sofa mostly. I should really clean up the place. Who the hell would leave such a? Oh yeah, that'd be me. <laughs> As it, they writ lol, really. You could just write, like, looking a little hee 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 hee. They writ lol. I'm starting to get a little irritated at my own repulsive way of laughing. Laughing. No, is, is that what he actually, he actually said lol? <laughs> and he hates him saying lol. That's a bit weird. I took my frustration out on one of the plastic bottles laying at my feet. He rebounded and looked about to come flying at the shelf where my figurines were lined up, which led to me raising a scream and hastily straining to catch it. <gasps> Not my figurines! Couldn't let any harm come, my, come to my nearly 100 plus bride sisters and daughters. <gasps> These girls are my precious existence that heals my heart. It's their shelf alone that I make sure to tidy up once a week. Oh good, you live, you live all these anime characters and you're, gonna, you're basically living in a world with them. It's like me. <laughs> I investigate things like the angles of from which they look the cutest and where they should stand on a daily basis. And not wanting my darling big sisters and daughters to get dirty, I never neglect to dust them. Really? Hmm. He's got a fetish. <laughs> Taking a relieved breath, I threw the empty bottle into a corner of the room and turned back to my PC where I played Elder Scrolls Online for 50 hours a day. My personal computer is enshrined at the farthest back part of the room. Next to the monitor is a Seratan, 8th scale per awakening version. It's a weird version that is. A figure from my current favorite anime. Oh, this, I thought you were talking about the computer. Okay, whatever. Buachu, Blood Tune, the animation. See, I'm wondering if this is supposed to be any relevance to real anime, so it'll change the name a bit. I, I, don't, I don't recognize that. Struck in a moe pose and smiling at me. Moe! Sierra, Sierra, you're so cute. I should probably should change his voice. I shouldn't really do my own voice because it doesn't match him. I should do something a little bit nerdy. Like, Sierra, Sierra! Wait, no. Sierra, Sierra, you're so cute! Murmuring that after meeting her eyes, I grabbed a bottle of cola from beside my computer and drank it down. Ah, I don't know, I just might just do my own voice because he's going to be talking a lot and it's going to be really hard to do someone else's voice constantly. So it's, I'll do my own voice and I'll, for any other characters I'll do a different voice. It was lukewarm but I didn't really care. Alright, I gotta get back to ensuing. That's what he calls it. Sitting down on my chair, I put both hands to the keyboard. It's the only thing that calms me down. My character is Ensue, Night Hard. It's a paladin that's already gone through every level and reincarnated back to the first level twice. Uh, so he's paid that much. Oh, oh god. Obviously, he's currently at the max level 50. It's the highest rank you can get from. He mu this must be. There must be WoW. Water, Water Warcraft. It must be the same thing. They, they can just change your name. Because WoW is max level 50, right? I, I know they upped it, but. I don't really play it that much, but you know. <laughs> You can get from any valid service. Most people recognize me just from the nickname Lightning Fast Nighthawk. <laughs> they all treat me like a god. I complete all the rare weapons, rare armor, and rare, rare magic. My rare items completion percentage is 95%. Well, it's a bit of an uphill battle. I can never use all the money points I have. Since I have bucket money through RMT, real money trade, I could live like this for half a year without needing to do any part time work. Really? I think anyone would love that. To just constantly play a game and you're basically getting money. Well, we're doing real money trading. But now he's got so much real money. No. It's not that much though, really. Half a year. I'm really good at chatting. 
take care of all my basic communi communication this way. We even helped out other players at, at the huge anonymous message board at channel. Oh, there it is. The same with Science Gate at channel comes back. I participate in epic threads a lot too. Oh, that's right. In Fupara, a social networking service, you know, my friends list passed the 100 person mark ages ago. Yeah, I don't like to brag about it. <laughs> who, who, who really brags about who's got the most friends? Literally anyone can be a random stranger be a friend and never add you. It makes a freaking difference. I'm sure that's referring to Facebook as well. Respect, trust, is all right here. <laughs> Damn right. I don't go to school. It's not that I don't want to go, it's just that there's no point in going. Or to going. I can get all my studying done online. Studying at home is enough. But it all seems that you gotta have this thing called sufficient credits to graduate. So I spend the absolute minimum amount of time at school that I have to. That's the smartest way to survive as a student. The parents always complain about it, which is why this is why I create an ideal minimum attendance shift chart for myself. Oh, it's a bit smart, really. I mean, it's not just skipping to school whenever; it's actually going to school on certain days, but limited. According to the chart, I go. If I go about 2.5 times a week, I'll be fine. The guys who go to school every day call me a taku freak and look down on me, but from my perspective, the ones who, s who stop thinking for themselves and just go to school as they're told to are the real mor mor morons. In any case, my lifestyle here ain't so bad. Oh, crap. Okay, it's someone called Grim, okay. Hey, hey, Nightheart, what's up? You're not replying. You fall asleep or something? Go woke well, tell me about that gaze and completely forgot about it. I was chatting with Grim. Grim's a friend I always team up with in, in Sue. We've never met uh, IRL, but we always talk online. On top of that, Grim brings me all kinds of variable news. He's almost like the sort of information broker. Seated in my chair, I started typing. Uh, is he typing? Oh, I had to click. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Not so much falling asleep as just spaced out, lol. You must be tired. <laughs> Not enough sleep? You too busy with your girl, lol? <laughs> Up late every night. <laughs> I'm not interested in 3D girls, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm not Daru. <laughs> I'm not bi like Daru. I don't like 2D and 3D. I only like 2D. Grim and I talk about everything. We're not face to face, so I feel at ease talking about almost every anything. But in real life, that's not the case. Then you mean 2D world? Eroge? <laughs> everything always seems... Th to about a, a row with you, lol. Come on, isn't isn't youth always fantasizing about a row stuff? They were just all pumped up talking about it. School girls in swimsuits, huh? Oh yeah. Don't remember too well, but anyway, if that's what we're talking about, let me whip out my pet theory. It's gotta be a school swimsuit plus glasses. Do I pick? I forget this. Yes or no? <laughs> it's gotta be a school swim fruit. What do you with? Oh, I get a choice? Okay. So it gives me my first choice. Does this even mean anything? <laughs> it's gotta be a school swimsuit plus glasses. So he's into the glasses type, I guess. But as if I say yes. Uh, I'm actually gonna say no. <laughs> Into that. The racing suits are better than the regular school shoes. The racing suits? I don't even know if I get what the running suits. No. With socks that reach over to the knees. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Glasses, no thanks. The thing about school shoes is that they come with bitter sweet memories of youth. And she's wearing over his knee socks. Her destructive powers are over 9,000! <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you really have a thing for swimsuits, huh? Doesn't every guy use, use common sense? By the way, it's not about how much skin she's showing. 
same as knowing that she's not wearing any panties is better than catching an eye full of them. Wait, it's better as knowing how she's not wearing. Okay. <laughs> you, you say it's the same, but I, I, it'd be cool with either. What? That one, that was not the greatest of going commando. I, I'm with those who like them naked. <laughs> you ass, you don't understand a single thing about Moe. You never do that full throw. Ha, huh. well, that's what makes you a nightheart. It leaves me a shock, but I also have a strange attraction to it. Lol. <laughs> don't phrase it with stuff like, but also. I got a little overheated there, but. I'm aiming to be the cool type of character. Cool? Lol. <laughs> don't laugh. So, so, what were we talking about before, before those off? <laughs> Well, whatever the case, we're probably exchanging and sewer related news. Hey, hey, don't don't forget like that. There must be some things going on in 3D world recently. Like what? What do you mean? What Shogun? What? Nice to meet you, little Shogun. Yo, who's Shogun? I tried greeting him, but Shogun didn't reply. The fuck is he ignoring me? Despite the fact I went out my way to be friendly. Not exactly friendly, but you know, yo, I'm a gangster type. Does he know who know who I am? Is he acting the rude, rude regardless? Dude, I'm lightning fast nightheart. You don't mess with nighthearts. It's a league to enter one of these chat rooms in the first place if you're just going to lurk. Whatever, I don't give a shit. You know you could enter a private chat room so people don't join you. They have to enter a password or something to join. <laughs> Duh. This is what this is what's this is what's nice about the net, of course. As only to bother yourself with pointless interpersonal relationships. True that. Okay, all right. So what was it, Grim? Are you just gonna leave that guy and let him fucking watch? You got, there's no like kick button. He's <laughs> gonna let him watch all your conversation and see what you freaking read. Okay, I guess so. I'm talking about those recent incidents. I don't know any about anything going on in the third dimension. <laughs> anyway, it's gotta be something stupid, no? More or less, heh. <laughs> but it's still pretty shocking. Shocking? So that means it's a gory murder or something? Must have happened? It's been getting more dangerous around here recently. You're not gonna bring up Goro picks again, are you? You really can't handle Goro. Haha. <laughs> was it Gore? Is that what they mean? What's Guguro? I don't know what the heck that is. It's not like that. No, I really don't want to see it. Uh. Oh, there we are. <laughs> but lately, there's been a lot of compo uh, composites and other shop pictures around. They set up as traps in lots of different places. And if I get tripped by one, I end up looking whether I want to or not. Well, we, we well, I might have gotten a little des desensitized. Even though you're the strongest paladin in Bazan, well, I don't PK. PK is an abbreviation for player kill. Oh, okay. It refers to the dicks who take part in some kind of delinquent behavior. Killing unrelated people in nick games and stealing their equipment and money points. That is dickheads, basically. I don't do that stuff that child is. I don't do stuff that child is. Since it goes against my policy of not breaking into his rules. But I do real money trading right and left. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> hey, calm yourself down, bolt hero. <laughs> New gen, do you know it? New gen, what's that? We haven't even covered this yet, have we? Although Grim referred to it like it'd be natural for me to know it. What is it? The new generation of madness online. It's been shortened to new gen. It's what they've been calling a string of mysterious incidents that have been happening in Shibuya. They're all in your neighborhood here. Yeah. And now that you mention it, I kind of remember something about an accident. But I just vaguely knew about it and hadn't bothered to check the details. When I tried such a new gen, I got some hits right away. Let's see. Uh. The new generation madness. I guess I can't think of it. The two incidents that have occurred in Shibuya this past month are collectively called being called new gen. Grim the fetus that has been 
there have been a, there have been several seven victims. I was saying what? Including a fetus, there have been seven victims. A fetus? What? The first case involved five friends who took part in a group dive from the high rise building. So wait, like, I mean, five people jumped or dove from a building and all splattered and all turned into liquid. Like my you of course party. In the second case, a fetus was stuffed into a what? Oh god, that is just a fetus was stuffed into a man's body. How? Whoa, you're serious. A chill went down my spine. It's got the dark real quick, man. What the heck? Before I knew it, I look I turned to look around in my room again. There are plenty of links to older new gen news on Taboo. Oh, this is Yahoo. <laughs> so I went ahead and started skimming them. The new generation of madness, such as uh, such are the incidents that have been causing a stir on the net for day after day. Two instances of this have already occurred. One features such a brutal method of killing that there's bit there were TV channels that fought boldly to express the criminal's behavior in words. Apparently, there were also rumors that the initial diving accident might also have been a homicide. All the Dead of all of the dead five parents of friends declare that there's no way he or she would ever commit suicide. I can't come up with with so much as in a trace of a motive. Additionally, circumstantially evidence have makes it difficult to think that they were attempted suicide. I took a quick look, and did it freak you out? Not really. It's not like it interests me. Now I'll take a look. What's this? A photo of one of the victim's corpses. Groom you ass, you're having fun at my expense here. How does this, how does this kind of thing... Wait, he, oh, he does this kind of thing once in a lot. I, I said it wrong. Thing. Okay. But if I hesitate, I hurt my reputation as Basil Nightheart. Turn aside real life. When it comes to Insue, I'm a god. I'm the strongest. I'm a knight of justice who knows everything and is stronger than anyone. Like I literally make a fool of me. I must have my courage and click the URL. Okay, get ready for this score. This is a warning. You fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a fucking bitch. <laughs> what? So it's just a shitty doodle? You son of a bitch. Haha, <laughs> you got me. Who drew this, lol? <laughs> he waves a hand. I drew a little. Uh, I drew it a little before. It took two minutes. <laughs> Apology has appeared, lol. <laughs> Ah, things have calmed down. I'm gonna hit the sack. Later. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow in Baseland. Groom has left the room. Two members left. Come to think of it, that Shogun guy was still here. I completely forgot about him. Not that it mattered either way. He wasn't that sleepy, so I thought I'd do a bit of hunting in a sewer or something. Ah, speaking of which, uh, Buratu broadcast today. There's no TV in my room. I get everything done on my PC. Another 15 minutes, huh? Maybe I'll go to the bathroom or something first. Spying Sarah Tan next to my monitor, I grinned. Today I'll be able to see Sarah Tan, something I've always looked forward to. As I thought that, I was just about to close the chat window when... Uh, oh no. This is, this is something, this is gonna be a real thing now, I bet ya. Huh? Shogun Plus is something. What's with this guy posting after being so been signing for so long? He wasn't a faithful lurker. Go by the file extension and look like a link to an image, but some look for someone suspicious, a person I didn't know. And on top of that, one who hadn't posted a single thing before. Without thinking, I gulped down a breath. What's going on? I never felt this kind of horrible uh, premonition before. In all my time on the net, of course I didn't want to click it. I cut my tongue and looked at the clock. 12 minutes until my promised time with Sarah Tan. It'd be a good idea to cut off the conversation right away. Haha, <laughs> look, are you, are you trying to do Zhu Lang's trap here, lol? Uh, okay. The wolf changes if you click it. Whoa, wait, what's with this? What's with the English, lol? I tried my best to sound like I was joking around to make it seem like I had plenty of relaxation to spare. Truthfully, I didn't want to chat with some guy I didn't know. 
I was nervous and made it s it made me sweat. That's to say nothing of the fact that the Shogun person wasn't Japanese. There's no there'd be no way to deal with him. Okay. Sorry, I, I surprised you. Hey, you started talking to me normally. My kind, my wine was uh, put to rest a little. Nah, no props. Why were you looking? Someone tell you to to go f off and look for half a year? I was thinking. Where are you trying from? For some reason, there was a weird gap. Okay, Shibuya, Shib Shibuya, Shibuya, really? And if a vision of new gen incident sprung to the front of my mind, literally. After what that just happened, that's kind of weird. They were gory enough. They were gory enough with someone like me envisioning them. So in reality, there must have not been something you could bear to look at with straight on. A man's torn stomach. The fetus that was forcibly stuffed into the into the, into the, wait stuffed in the hole. What hole? Which hole? The bottom top? The mouth? What? Which one? <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> when the five who dove from the high rise hit the ground, they must have gotten so badly messed up that there was no way to tell what what really, uh, really originally looked like. Just imagine it made me feel sick to my stomach. I hastily t shut my head to get rid of this gruesome delusions. The Shogun guy was so suspicious that he made me think about all that stuff. I seriously, cu uh, seriously caught up in it. I got seriously caught up in it. I wouldn't... Well, he, I, I guess he's already saw anyway. That I'm in Shibuya too. Seems like a lot of strange incidents have happened lately. This, they're still happening. Shibuya? <laughs> what? Fun. 10. X. Int. 40. Equals. I R two. Something to do with the math thing. Ah, wait, I wonder if it's like. Was he just a freak or what? I said I'm smart, but I've never seen the formula he posted out of the blue. I try to search for it just in case. At times like this, it's easier if you just run a search. Of course, we're gonna lose the Luda dude. <laughs> the loot. We're gonna search with the Luda dude, the land of the rising sun. <laughs> Huh? No hits? Could it be that he's simply typing some random made up formula to make himself seem intelligent? I didn't get it. This equation. Oh, this, this equation has killed the world's poss possibilities. In what way? <laughs> I don't follow you. More importantly, what's the link from before? Would I. Would I get more out of it if I played along and clicked it, lol? What the fuck? I couldn't even read what he said. I think it, you f you might get some gout of it. I don't know what he said. If I might be interested or something like that. Countless URLs went up at incredible speed. How the freak did he use How? Isn't that speed as well? What the heck? What's going on with this guy? Is he getting his kicks by intimidating me? Maybe he's a friend of Grimm working together to pull the wall over my eyes. I hate when he does that. Stop looking back like someone's there. Since in the gaze again, I looked around my room naturally. Thought, though all that was room, all that was there was the room's unchangeably dim and messy interior. I did defiable terror since it was already normal for me to feel like I was being watched. I couldn't get myself to calm down. Don't look at me. When I tried putting it into words, I realized that my voice was shaky. Or like, don't look at me. My familiar messy room felt like something altogether different. It said that after you watch a fear-mongering TV program or go to a horror movie or hear a scary story from your friend, the careless air of your own house, which you should be used to, becomes so frightening that you can't even go to the bathroom by yourself late at night. Right now, I'm having similar. Ex I'm, uh, I'm having a similar experience. Damn it, like I let myself be taken by this troll. Ah, oh, don't do it, don't do it. Shaking up, I'm leaning, I'm leaning in toward the monitor. I. 
Get up thinking, I put pressure into my right index finger and clicked and one of the shogun's next. Here we go. Are you ready for this? It better not be another doodle. Please. Ah, w I don't know if you guys saw that then. It was a bit quick. I saw one and... Honestly, I don't know why I did it. It's not that my hand moved on its own or anything. Without thinking, it doesn't describe it at all. It's possible for me to regard it as a pure mistake, but the motion of clicking had come to me all naturally. Uh, what's this? I feel the monitor screen was a photograph and an ob object the, dark, the art. Something like the spikes of a hedgehog or the needles of stuffed flower, a arranging tool was stuck to the wall in the shape of a cross. A reddish tool black puddle had formed underneath the giant flower raging tool, with its needles all sticking out all over. I thought it was a person. I couldn't make them out. There was also a number of small garbage like lumps strewn around. Seriously, what what was this? This is some work some of this oh the work of some puffed up self proclaimed avant grained artist. They showed up a lot and those those people who create gory looking works and and bashfully say he expresses the chaos of this world. I had no intention of coming to understand that kind of Moriaki art. Still, it was a mysterious image. He wasn't directly Guru. I only reached the point of having a Guru esque sense to it. Despite that, why did it feel so raw to me? Why did it give us such a strong presence? Is it possible to hallucinate the sense of blood entering your nose enough to make you choke? Possible to experience an illusionary smell so vivid that it brings about nausea? A something praying shook at my temples. My nausea wouldn't stop. Uh, I desperately tried to grab my, uh, uh, grab the mouse, but my hand was shaking and it didn't go well. I was so fr frantic that I failed to grasp it, and it stepped off the desk, dragging only its cord behind it. I rode in the cord, set it back on the mouse pad, and closed the window. And what leapt into my relief sight was... Oh, what's that? I can't reach everything, so... What did it say? I didn't... It didn't even translate to English. Why? What did it say? I glared at my self-titled minimum attendance shift chart. Yesterday, I needed to watch the BRG in real time, but... After that, I watch it on YouTube. Yep, YouTube. Yep. What you're watching on now is YouTube. So it wasn't a real problem. Even after watching it, it's still, still something felt wrong. I should have said right before I closed the chat window. It's almost like he's seen the fact that I cowered in fear of God's gaze. It was too much of a mere coincidence. Did he say I'm watching you or something like that? Maybe my personal information was leaked on in Syria. Maybe it was someone who didn't like Nightheart. I thought about the different possibilities. A godlock existence like mine has many allies, but also many enemies. Well, the enemies were basically a kind of side effect of the popularity. Of course, they'll be there. People who envied Nightheart's strength and popularity tirelessly tried to provoke me. It's just a matter of ignoring them. Ignoring them. Yeah. This was different. The fact that I had no clue who Shogun was worried me to the point where I was where I was logged into Ensu. I couldn't concentrate at all on hunting. On top of it all on top of it all, today was the worst possible day. Why? It was a school day. According to my minimum attendance shift chart, I had to go. I really I really didn't want to, but if I uh, didn't go by my minimum, minimum attendance shift chart. My calculations will get messed up, and in the worst case scenario, I may have to get repeat. I may have to repeat a year. Even though I'm sleepy, I fought off a yawn and trudged off towards school. It takes about ten minutes to walk from my base to school. Uh, my mood sank lower soon after I started walking. My body felt heavy and it was hard to breathe, and I started to sweat. It's always like this when I go to school. Why do I have to go to school? It's, it's such a painful event. Muttering uh, barefully to myself, it kept moving, 
I kept moving my feet to, uh, forward all the same, heading down, watching the asphalt's white line. And to shoot you park, the school is right on the other side. Housewives took their morning walks and salary men sat on the benches, reading sports newspapers around the park's pond. Even though Shibuya uh, was, was so crowded and noisy, the park on the outskirts was quiet and perfectly fit the expression. A place for relaxation. I sat down on one of the benches too. On the, on the way to school, it was a habit of mine to eat breakfast while I gazed at the surface of the pond brewing with cinnary water. It was a nice time of year and the trees were gradually gaining their colour. Today's menu was some breakfast bread I bought at a convenience store along the way. It would be enough to tide me over until night. I wouldn't normally eat lunch. Nobody wanted to eat lunch with a creepy otaku like me, and I had no interest in eating lunch by myself while everyone around me merrily ate together. After finishing my Cranfield bread with some coke, oh they kept coke in there, well it's just coke in it, <laughs> not coke cola, I gazed listenly up at the sky. Somehow the skies of Shibuya always appear drab. It doesn't matter what season it is, the sky doesn't change. My parents' house was only a few stations down along the river, but there's a distinctly different feeling between there and here. That said, I kind of like the donuts of the sky, although I really don't know why. I glanced at my watch to check the time. I didn't get, to get going soon, I'd be late. I had to avoid all that, that at all costs. As someone who only goes to school 2.5 times a week, I couldn't do anything to make myself stand out. In any case, it was important to just be there, kind of like the air. Safely and peacefully make it through the day without catching the eyes of the teachers or the liquid types. And without having anyone interfere with me, that was the only goal of my school life. I attend Sumi Private Academy. It doesn't have much of a history, I heard that it was founded about 10 years ago. The building is neat and trim looking, and a lot of TV dramas about teaching are shot there. The uniforms are apparently designed by a famous designer, so quite a few of the girls are airheads who enter the school just because they wanted to wear the uniform. It's obscenely a prep school, but the percentage of people who continue on to college is at the upper middle level. Hilarious enough, they use the blurb a free creative school atmosphere as a selling point for new students, regardless of the fact that the school re regulations are very strict. Although the, the rules are in process of recurring rules only in name, besides, it isn't entirely off the mark to describe it as free. Creative school atmosphere, I, I guess. After all, someone like me who only comes 2.5 times a week, can keep rising to the next grade like anyone else. As might, as might have, might have been expected, when I reached the front of the school, the other students on their way there started, started getting noisy. Okay, But since I'm not so good with crowds, I hunched over as I passed through the school gates. In my heart, uh, in my heart I went on fervently reciting, no one talked to me, no one talked to me, over and over. My little sister, who's one year younger, goes to this school too, but she lives with my parents. A day when I run into her is a tra tragic day indeed. Luckily today I managed to get to my classroom without encountering her in, and in one piece. I quickly took my seat as to not, uh, so as to not meet anyone's eyes. I had a feeling the, the that the group of girls chatting nearby tasked me a look. It was only for a second and they went back to the conversation without saying anything. Deep down they view me as a creep, no doubt about it. Hmm, from my point of view, 3D girls are far more creepy. Ugh, disgusting. Vile. I'm a man, man. <laughs> it's fine by me if they think I'm a creep. If they don't notice I'm here, all the better. If they just do that, then I'll go on living in silence, without giving them any trouble. I often wonder what's wrong with uh, with the people who call me creepy, I just, I don't get it. It almost seems like they want the attention of people that they're calling creeps. I was in my seat, just hunched over on the desk, uh, staring at its surface. Yo, Taku! Someone smacked, someone smacked me lightly on the back. It startled me and I raised my head. Oh, uh, okay, who are you? <laughs> Today a school going day for ya. Misumi-kun? A class rate, Misumi 
Oh, Daisy Cool. Was giving me a grin. He was pretty good looking, and all the girls seemed to like him. He himself openly declared how much he liked women, and for him to say he was dating several people at once, from my perspective, he was the guy who jumped fully into the liquid territory. If possible, if, if I preferred to have not any connection to him at all, but. You always look down! Too much gaming and not enough sleep! No, not really. He's the only person in the entire class who talked to me. I wonder why you always, you always started talking to me. Our hobbies and personalities aren't the. Wait, aren't the aren't even slightly similar? I think that's messed up. <laughs> he, had, he had been on my mind since we became classmates this year. If. Hypothetically, if I were a girl, I would kind of understand, but being a guy, I don't know why he talked to me. I guess there's no avoiding it. You are a Hirokumri. Wait. Hiki Komaru. Komaru. Hiki Komori. Hiki Komori. But come on, try answering a little more cheerfully. If I could, I, I had done, I'd have done so a long time ago. It was almost painful for me to talk to a 3D human being. Anxiety keeps my voice from coming out properly, so since I didn't talk normally talk much, I can't articulate myself well through speech, and I shrink back because I'm scared. I might say something stupid and it might be fun of. I wish people who wouldn't talk about stuff like they they know about it, they had no clue how hard it is for me. Oh, but I'm no Hirokimori. A Hirokimori is someone who shuts himself up in his room for 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. I'm different. Being nervous around chicks is one thing, but you act like that. You act like that around me. People are gonna think I'm a homo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold up. He doesn't really. He doesn't really like girls, and he's really into guys. <laughs> I in a hurry to put some distance between us. I pulled away. I almost fell out of my chair, flustered. I had to grab onto my desk. What the hell are you doing? Mr. come on, are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> like hell I am. Have you forgotten how I, how I am with the ladies? Oh, oh yeah, you scared the crap out of me. By, by the way, Mr. Quick, uh, uh, quickly checked out the surroundings, grinned and lowered his voice. Yesterday, I got my hands on, the th on my third girl from this class. Wanna know who? Uh, that's, that's okay, not really. Come on, social interest. It was Tanaka. I'm telling you, man, Tanaka. Who's Tanaka? <laughs> it's almost like Chobo and you still don't know your classmates' names. Well, I guess that's natural since you're not interested in the third dimension. Exasperated, he shrugged his shoulders and let out a sigh. However, up until this, the present, he had never once belittled me from my hobby. That is, the fact that I love 2D characters. He didn't call me creepy or anything. He wasn't to his taste, so he didn't overstep himself. Looking at the side of him, he didn't seem like the such a bad guy. This might have been why I unintentionally fell into conversations with him whenever he started talking to me. With this, I finished capturing practically all the cute girls in our class. I figured in that. It's about time I spend my hundred grails to the class next door. Maybe he's not that good of a guy after all. If the girls overhead this, uh, I think they'd be appalled. I, think, I mean, over here, I think they. I hear there's a real hottie in class D, but she only comes to the school every once in a while. Hmm. Somehow, doesn't the thought of that get you moed up? Ah, but in your case. It's more like the warm and fuzzy kind of moe that than getting fired up kind of moe. Than it getting well, okay. <laughs> I just I just I just had a thought that when he said that it's kind of like him. It's kind of like me right now. So I'm wondering if that girl is actually Grim, the one who hardly comes to school as well. Just to short, I just thrown it out there. I just wonder if that is the case. It turns out to be. Oh my god. Oh my god, you know, you know so much and I, you play this as well, you're exactly the same as me. Oh my god, I'm not interested in 3D girls, but you know, you know, that kind of thing. I wonder if that's going to happen. I wish people wouldn't toss around the word moe without knowing what it means. <laughs> well, oh, well, let's start talking about stuff you aren't into. Uh-oh. So, you heard about that new genie, new gen thing? 
Honestly, he surprised me to hear those words coming out of his mouth. I thought he was a person who didn't think about anything other than women. I couldn't picture him watching the news or reading the paper. According to rumors, the group dive case was a murder too. Uh, is that so? I'm not joshing you. It was written in the sports newspaper. Oh, okay. So his source was a sports newspaper. Wouldn't that make it completely unreliable? Besides, I already heard that news. It's not that it had caught my interest. So listen and, and be amazed. Will you? An eyewitness witness reports that the killer is female. And on top of that, a real beauty. Okay. Okay, it's part of that girl from Class D then, I guess. Yes. As I watched Misumi-kun tell me this excitedly, the dots finally connected. I saw where Misumi-kun had started giving reading, had certainly started reading the sports newspaper, which he normally wouldn't have given the time of day. He had to do with the girl. I guess you could call this a natural development. Would it be cool with the murderer, so long as she was cute? Really? Really? I would not even give it a thought. Speaking for myself, it'd be okay. I I'd be okay with that if she were a two D character, but you know, you know, it wouldn't make really a difference. She's a two D character. She can't kill me. It's not the same thing, really. Misumi Kern cast his eyes at the blue sky beyond the window. His face took on a far off look. Why is he looking like he just achieved enlightenment, enlightenment or something? I wonder what kind of person the culprit is. Is she really a hottie? I want to see her and find out. Just now, I became certain of the fact that this is this is a guy who lives solely, or solely through the lower half of his body. I'm confident that she won't kill me. At least after all, look, I'm pre- a pretty good guy, right? She might be a serial killer, but once she meets me, ha, she'll fall in love on the spot, man. That's why you won't get killed. The variety of his trip. Of his train of thought, whoosh, cleared over my expectations. A real back from the Misumi Company proved himself able to say such a thing breezily without, and without hesitation. I, I, I'm not into that, so... But hey, whether or not you, it, it catches your interest, the perp is definitely wandering around the area, you know? You might end up crossing paths with her somewhere. What if Misumi come with a killer? No, I could certainly rule that much out. But I can completely deny the possibility that it was one of the students here. If that were the case, maybe I should say, I have a post-traumatic stress disorder to maneuver my way into graduating even with inf- insu- um, insufficient attendance. What was that? Post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> Look, I w- want to come and check out the crime scene with me today. We can get stuff. Uh, we can we can get there by walking from here. Sounds like there'll still be blood and stuff le- left over. Wait, what? How would there still be blood and le- when they've cleared it up by now? I had absolutely zero interest in doing so. All I wanted was to lift. Uh, what all I wanted was to peacefully and safely take my classes, hurry up and go home, greet my seratan, and return to my world where I become a god. The ultimate god destruction. (laughs) Kobayashi and Heizgawa said they would have been there to see it. Have they? Has the police not been there and blocked it and stopped people from seeing this stuff? This should not be seen from other people. Shouldn't they cover like the body or like fucking clean it up so quickly? God, I'm not into that kind of thing, really. What the fuck is this? Oh, I think it's a choice. Can top right. I can pick top right or top left. It looks like a heart rate going still or the heart rate going fucking mad. I am going to save the game just in case because I don't know what this means yet. I have not did this. Okay, I felt bad for turning down Misumi-kun, who was getting into it, but I couldn't go along with this. See, I wonder if it is a trick. Hmm, I'm going to 
gonna go with top left. Yeah, I have a feeling that's declining in it. Oh, is that not a choice? What was that about then? What was that supposed to mean? It's supposed to be like I act calmly or I, I panic. I don't understand it. Hmm, maybe I'll find out soon. It doesn't really give me any like what it is. I mean, I could understand the choice. It says yes or no, but that, I don't know what the fuck that means. So I squeezed out my voice with the intention of someone how refusing him, but he wouldn't listen. Then we might have a surprise running with a perp. Isn't it often that's said that the criminal returns to the scene of the crime? I don't know why he does, but for some reason he does. An idiot. <laughs> and you'll be and you'll be here next target. Repeat your sins with death. That kind of thing. As for the mature uh, the nature of your offense, let's see. How about because you are shot in? Of course there was no reason for me to want to see the blood or anything. That kind of thing is too terrifying. It wasn't a haunted mansion type of attraction or horror film. People were being killed in real life, and the perpetrator still hadn't been caught. We wanted to go anywhere that might have been a little bit dangerous. Even so, I found myself wondering about the new Jane criminal motive. Were the incidents pleasure, pleasure killings by someone who, with a couple screws loose in his, his or her head? It might just be fitting to think along those lines. Well, whatever, it had, to, it had nothing to do with me. By the way, I, I'm, a, I'm also a mass murderer. Despite having killed so many, I'm treated like a hero nevertheless. Inside and slew, that is. Oh, lol, oh, lol. That comparison alone is enough to prove that the 2D world is unquestionably better than the real one. But without the real world, you won't have the 2D world. So you, you're at an impasse there, really. While frantically turning down Misumi Kum's invitation, I internally pitch my, pictured myself throwing one straight punch after another. Wait, what? <laughs> a murder, you say? I smashed a guy like like that into pieces the second I met him. By singing into delusions like that, I was capable of killing or saving anyone. Oh, he means in his suit. Okay. I was thinking, what the? You just said that now. <laughs> Someone who tried to attack it in real life would be a pure idiot for not thinking about the consequences. Even the new Jane Killer would have to get caught pretty soon, and after being put out in jail for several decades, they'd, be ex they'd get executed. I wanted to tell that killer... Ha! Only if you stuck, to, uh, only if you snuck, stuck to doing it in your imagination and left it at that. What the heck was that? Look, I'm still like dizzy in that. What the heck? Okay. Um, I might just end it here for now, guys. I'm gonna save it quickly. I do number two slot just in case. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna end it here for now, guys. Um. Because I've been going on for a period, uh, quite a while and uh, there's really no bit to end it on. So I'm going to try and end it on like a transition like this now. Going to a different area. So yeah, it's been quite interesting so far. It's a bit weird. I mean, it's something that I'm not used to. But you know, I'm, I feel like I can get into it the more it goes on. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. I'll do as much more. And, uh, and also tell me in the comments if you want face cam. It's not really a face cam kind of thing, but... I know, I've been thinking about it. I haven't really been interested in really doing it for visual novels because I think it's just really, really voices and for you to get into the story. You don't really need to see me, but it's up to you guys. What well, is your choice? I could try it once if you want me to, but you know, it's up to you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.